has. Here's the details for the Mount Ida hike in Rocky Mountain National Park. You want to start at the Poudre Lake Trailhead located at Milner Pass. This is on the western side of Trail Ridge Road in Rocky Mountain National Park. Total distance is 9.6 miles with a 2,465 foot elevation gain. The summit at Mount Ida is 12,889 feet and most of this hike is above tree line so expect lots of sun and lots of wind. This total hike took me six hours to complete and expect to see bighorn sheep and elk if there's anything out on that day. But this is an awesome hike. Enjoy the video and enjoy the hike. Okay, so this is the Milner Pass Trailhead. I'm in Rocky Mountain National Park about to hike the Mount Ida Trail. It's about five miles to the top. This is the view from the Milner Pass Trailhead. First time I've used a gimbal, so there's probably gonna be a little bit of uh, trial and error on this one. This first mile of this is a pretty steady climb. guy from Texas is now acclimated to this elevation. This first uh, mile is tough. This is where they see quite a few elk and deer. Check out that view. So there's Trail Road Road, where I drove in, and Trailhead is just beyond that little bald hill right there. Hey look, it's a bighorn. That bighorn surprised me, I'm huffing and puffing, paying attention to the trail, and that thing's right in front of me. You can see from here on out, it's pretty moderate. So, so far, I think I'm probably just over two miles in. Um, it's really just been a kind of a lot of this moderate sloping hill. Pretty off back that way though. So if you can see off that direction, you can see Grand Lake and Granby, Colorado where I stayed last night. So I'm about to climb up that pretty good sized mountain right there. Good little snow field right there as well. This is looking west. So we're coming up on the first, I guess we'll drop off. Let's just see a nice view. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty sweet climb.
So this is coming up on the second fall summit. There. Uh, you can see one of my best guesses is the summit of Mount Ida. So we're getting close. It's getting a lot more interesting. the edge see the views on the way up most people who are descending are taking another trail down that way but uh definitely worth the extra effort to kind of get here to the edge just to check it out right there i see groups of people sitting down eating lunch which is a good sign and check out the tarns down there from the snow Make the final push to the top. You can see Grand Lake right down that way, and Granby just on the other side. That's where I started this morning. There's Grand Lake right there. Final push to the top. It's actually not bad. to the top. Peaks straight that way, and that's where I'll be Friday and Saturday. So, this is looking south towards Grand Lake. All right, so I'm back at the saddle. We got one short climb to uh, kind of get back downhill again. Slowly getting there. When you get to this rock outcropping, that's whenever it really starts to go downhill back down to the trees and past tree line. It's windy. Oh, coming back into tree line. Real steep in this section right here.
making it back down to Poudre Lake. The trail was definitely amazing. Um, it's August the 4th. It started at 6 a.m. If you're gonna do it, do it early, because it gets hot. Once you pass tree line, you're exposed for a long time. Um, I've carried three liters of water, mixed in some Gatorade. Um, I'm out, so I'd recommend bringing at least three liters. I ran out just as we got back in the tree line. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna make it back to the truck. I'm gonna go over Trail Ridge Road, and then uh, off to Moraine Park. I'm gonna set up camp for a few days. So we'll see ya. All right, back to Poudre Lake. Last little stretch. All right, so that was Mount Ida. We'll see ya. Feels so good. <laughs> 